welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to carry on with star saga and we are going to be painting the tables these are not brilliant i have put them in boiling water and don't plunge them into the cold water to try and straighten them up but no it's not happening not doing anything so i'm not going to even bother trying to do anything special with these in regards to you know cleaning them up and anything um there's no point i'm just going to leave them as the earth so we have two lots of each of the designs so let's have a look at the first one this is your standard picnic table kind of um set up it's one that not you know, like uh your lab technicians and security and that will use in the canteen kind of thing yeah that's that and then one here which is like one you'd use in a lab for example you know you'd have your stethoscope not stethoscope your microscope and various other bits of lab equipment on top of this particular one it's got a nice little design in it which we'll be doing in a different color to the rest of the table um yep yeah, that's the second one and the third one is your standard office desk which has a couple of drawers a couple of cupboards um god knows what the hell that is and what possibly is a stack of paper there that's possibly test tubes in a rack i don't know it looks like test tubes in a rack so that's what I'll, that's how we'll do it i'm not a clue what they are but we're going to start off first of all with the two picnic tables and um, right this is a lab scenario um, so how we're going to do these metallic colors but colored we're not going to have um, what you call it we're not going to have them plain metallic colors right gold copper etc you're going to have I'm going to give them some form of color to these so we're going to start off in fact the only thing we're going to do with these just mix some metallic paint um, have I got any metallic paint in here I haven't bear with me a second I'm just really not got any of the paints out <laughs> So what I'm going to have to do is get into my little drawer down here and cause a little bit of noise. <clears throat> As I get my paints out, go with me. Right, so I've got them all in a, a box in my drawer. So that is why um, you can hear lots of noise. So I need some of that. Okay. So basically, what we're going to be doing is a very basic colour scheme with these, and we're going to be mixing Hydro Turquoise with Stormhost Silver. It's as simple as that. That's all we're going to do with these. I'm not going to give a, um, what you call it, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, oh yeah, I usually have a metallic undercoat on this, but I'm not going to do that on this particular one. I'm just going to put some um, of the metallic silver, or metallic, or the silver colour on there now can rinse out the brush and we're going to follow that with some of the hydro turquoise we're going to have to give this a damned good shake because it's uh, a army painter color There we are. So, got them together, and now we'll get our brush that we're going to be using. Um, 
our usual rosemarine colour brush. Now we're going to get some of the silver colour and mix in some of the um, turquoise into it and we're just going to paint the whole thing in this colour. Now as you can see it is quite shimmery. Let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Oh yeah, it's a very very watery colour and there's a hair on top of the table, bear with me. Get off. But to be honest, I don't particularly want a very deep saturated colour on these. Oh, I want it to go on fairly similar to a wash, only well, in this case it's a metallic wash. And it's going on over the grey, so it's going to give it that metallic feel anyway. Um, all these minis have been primed with a grey primer. So that's what that colour is. Just your bog standard grey primer. Um, it was actually bought from a car accessories retailer called Halfords in the UK. I don't know if anybody, um, I don't know if any other countries has this particular company, but um, here in the UK, it's a very big chain of um, car accessories. It also does a few bicycle uh, bicycle accessories and stuff like that. So it's a fairly big tin that you get. I've shown this before on the channel a few times um, when I've been asked what um, what primer I use. But it's just to remind everybody who's anybody who's just come in to the channel or has uh, forgotten what primer it is that's it it's just basic acrylic curl primer um, you go for the acrylic one because we're using acrylic paint you don't want to go for anything other than acrylic for this because it's not going to work if you do that um, so we're just going to go all over with it um, and then once it's done, mix a little bit more um, it might change after a while as the water comes off the um, wet palette. So I think it actually got into a, a bit of a, a water droplet as I was mixing the first lot which is why it's really really watery but if I've missed that this time the chances are we'll get <coughs> a much more pigmented um, effect to this. So this is, I don't actually plan on what colours I'm going to use when I'm painting, I just decide when you actually sit down to, to paint. Um, I make it up as I go along basically. Um, I know a lot of people dealing with this colour theory business um, subconsciously. I may, I probably do run with that because if it doesn't look right then I've done something wrong with the choice of colours, but um, you know I don't consciously make an effort to follow um, any form of colour theory as such. So if you're not, if you don't quite understand colour theory the way it's explained in videos. Um, don't worry about it. You can still get good um, 
good quality models, no good quality paint jobs on your models um, without following any official um, or traditional Puma theory. Um, charts and rules, that kind of thing. So, as I said, don't worry about it. You're supposed to be enjoying this hobby, not making it more stressful for yourself. So, as I said, if you don't understand it, just play along. If something doesn't, the basic rule of it, if something doesn't look right, you've got rom-coms working together. And another her. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave that one there for the time being and come back to it in a moment. In fact, I'm going to mix a lot more of this colour so that, hopefully, I don't run out again. Um, as I say, it doesn't matter if you haven't mixed exactly the same ratio for this. It's it's a table, it's not anything vitally um, essential to the look of the game. Um, if it was one of the minis I would actually be more concerned about it, you know, like one of the playing character minis on the... Um, what you may call it, the, uh, the bad guys, that kind of thing. But as it's only a piece of terrain, a small piece of terrain, and it's it's not a very good piece of terrain in the first place, then you know, don't worry if there's slight shade differences. Um, if you like to mix more paint. Um, so just keep going um, so this is the first of the tables we're going to be doing um, I'm going to get more and more uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, I'm just zooming a little bit more if I can. Um, you now it's going to get more and more detailed as time goes on with the um, with the minis I'm doing, but with this, like I say it, it, they're just very minor. But just they're just there to make the game look a little more interesting. They're not there to play any pivotal role in the game. Um, they just sort of like line of sight blockers and movement blockers, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know with the ones, I can't remember with the ones um, which have drawers and things in, whether you can actually find things in the drawers and cupboards, but... just designed for the treasure chests and the actual storage cupboards. I don't know. I cannot remember. But there we are. Right, I finished. And as you can see, there's mangled bits on these minis. The legs aren't straight, but as I said, I did try and straighten them up with the hot water technique, but it didn't work. So I'm not too, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not too um, bothered about getting these perfect as long as they look reasonable. Um, there we are. I'll just get back into this now to finish the last legs. And any other bits that I've missed. Hopefully that's it. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a dry brush over some edges with the silver itself. 
later on just to pick out oops just to pick out the edges make them stand out a little bit more but other than that this is all that's happening with these particular minis they're not going to get anything I fancied onto them as I said earlier so that's one done we need to get a little bit more mixed up just for this last bit on this leg oops sorry okay so I just need to make sure that everything is covered I don't want to miss anything so I'm not going to I'm not doing as good a job as I usually do with me painting but I don't want any of the grey showing um, I might actually put a stronger coat on the top of the table just to make sure The seats, I'm not really too bothered whether it looks um, good or not because that's where people want to be sitting. So if I can make it look as though they've, they've had a little bit of wear and tear, then all the better for the um, actual miniature. So that's as far as I'm doing at the moment. Once they've dried. Um, I can come back and do a little bit of a dry brush on them but as I said that will only happen once it's dried um, <clears throat> which won't take too long mainly because it's acrylic paint and it doesn't take very long to dry excuse me I'm just having a sip of water at the moment so Checking to make sure that all the grey has been covered up to one extent, one extent or another. Any that's missing, I'm not really, as I say, I'm not really too fussed. Um, so I'm just going to clean off my dry brush brush and um, actually give it a good cleaning and left it with some of the brush soap on the bristles to keep the bristles together at least that's what I'm hoping it will do it may not do but I don't know Um, so I'm just making sure that the brush is dry, fully dry before I start doing this because for a dry brush you need a dry brush, obviously. It's only trying to drill a dry brush without having a dry brush, isn't it? Okay, so we have, we're, gonna, we're sticking with the Stormhost Silver. These are the only two paints that we're going to be using for this video. And we're just going to go around the edges and do a little bit of a kind of like an edge highlight on them. That's all there is to it for this. Now we may I go a little bit heavier on the seats. just to give it that one look um, there we are. I 
and that's it that's all we're doing for this particular chair it's just a very quick and simple um, paint scheme um, so the table or the models are not straightening out they're not behaving themselves so I'm not in too much of a I'm not stressing out too much on them because if I can't get them looking right then I may as well just do the best as I do the best as I can with them but not exactly to the same quality as I usually do. That's it for this video. That's a short and sweet like a roasted maggot. Um, <laughs> the next video we're going to be doing one another possibly one maybe even two of the um, tables but for now that is it there we are that's how i'm not going overboard with them as you can see they're all shapes the wings aren't straight the table top isn't straight blah -de blah -de blah but there we are i've done the best that i want to do with them and i'm not doing any more so that's it for this video i hope you're all staying safe and uh, behaving yourselves in the line of going out you're not um, going out too far socialising and you're actually staying in and uh, keeping your distance from people and not going out when you need to um, as I say stay safe get crafting get painting get playing games enjoy this time who knows when you'll be, uh, ever be able to get the free time long enough to get anything done now yeah. think positively you're not stuck at home you're given the chance to do the things that you wanted to do but haven't been able to otherwise think of it that way until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now